So I guess you met Jim Cornette uh, in one of your Georgia runs or early runs? I'm from Seymour, career? Indiana. I grew up on Louisville Wrestling. Okay. I've known Jimmy since he was a teenager. We was business partners in OVW together. I trained all the WWE guys when they were developmental. He did all the TVs and the interviews. Saw him every day. He's about the only guy I agree with in this business on everything. The only reason, it, but the thing is, is he can say it so articulate, and I just say, well, that's fucking stupid, you know, <laughs> where he can emphasize why it's stupid. But he's, I never seen a guy so smart in wrestling for not being a performer. I see. You know what I mean? And, uh, but as far as laying shit out, Jesus Christ, knowing his shit, which is guys, now, if you wrestled 20 years, it's like promotion. If you wrestled 20 years, you know how to be a promoter and you learn by mistakes. Now the promotions are tax check guys, television executives, somebody that has nothing to do with wrestling, but now they're running shows, they're running, running in a network or whatever the hell it is. You know, they're not real wrestlers. It ain't Eddie Graham running shit, Ole running shit, watch running, the stuff we was talking about with the territories. Yeah. Rougeau's running stuff in Montreal or, or, or what, whatever it is with this and that. And I probably veered off the question again that you asked me. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to guess you were probably there that night that Jim had his incident with the boogeyman. You know, uh, I, I was there earlier and I'd left. Okay. But... Uh, I heard Lance Storm said Boogeyman was pretty much untrainable. <laughs> Is that uh, well? It's the like. How did he look? Great. He did the worm gimmick or whatever. Everything was great till the bell rang. But you can work around that. You know what I mean? But he was a unique character. That's for sure. Would I have the foresight to do all that shit with him? No. <laughs> so, uh, but. But I was there, and everybody's got different stories and stuff. And any story, somebody will keep changing and changing and changing. And by, yeah. the, by the end of the room, it's a completely different story, you know. What's your craziest Jim Cornette story, that, uh, something you've witnessed? Well, Jimmy's Jimmy. He's passionate. He loves wrestling. How can I get mad at somebody? And I, I think I agree with him with everything he says. But if I didn't agree with him, how could I get mad when he's got a passion and believe? If you believe in what you do, how can I get mad at him? We just got a difference of opinion. I just think it this way and you think it that way. But I've seen him take them ball bats and bash out windows and bash out the walls and shit like that. And, and I was scared he was always going to have a heart attack and shit. He'd get, I could see his face getting red, blood pressure, whatever. But I'm surprised he's made it this far. <laughs> <laughs> he gets so passionate and so emotional about that shit. But he's a smart motherfucker about traditional wrestling. And that's all I like. So, uh, I haven't watched wrestling on TV since 2002. And how did you get into business with Jim Cornette with uh, OVW? Well, uh, I was business partners with Danny Davis. Okay. And then Jim come in and got the, the developmental deal. Danny was teaching and then he had so much stress with running that shit. He had a little health problems so I just took over there so I ran so I ran it down there and uh, nobody from the office never come down to watch me do anything I just did it basically leave me alone and I, I don't know what to do thank you for watching the Hannibal TV please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews match videos or news updates Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.